can see that the meter box that used to be here has been removed. The locks that used to be in this position have been cut off. There was arcing inside the box. You can see burn marks evident of someone putting blades or jumpers in there. Here the meter has been damaged, the globe is missing, and we have locks that we put in place to try to prevent future theft. Here we have the box hanging right off the wall, again with two defeated locks on either side. And then over here, we actually have a wire that runs into the window. Today, record numbers of people are stealing electricity and natural gas, putting themselves, their families, and their communities at risk. Energy theft is defined as anyone establishing utility service to their home or business other than a utility employee. Now we respond to a number of fires, and as I was saying earlier, we are the second busiest Red Cross chapter responding to house fires in the nation behind New York City. The tragedy of fire is that you lose so much, and for some people that's all they have, and particularly family records, pictures, family Bibles, furniture and clothing. Uh, fire is a devastating situation, and on occasion, life. Whenever we find an illegal hookup, we have to disconnect it because it, it creates an unsafe situation for the resident of that location, um, as well as the neighboring locations that could be impacted by a fire, an explosion, or electrocution hazard. Energy theft is dangerous and illegal. New legislation makes it a felony to illegally sell or to transfer utility service. Violators will be subject to a $5,000 fine and up to five years in prison. The legislation also spells out punishments for anyone who assaults utility workers. Well, energy theft isn't the option. Um, we have numerous programs at DT Energy. We do outreach at local churches, we go to community forums, block clubs. What I'm finding is customers are really concerned about paying their bills. It's not that they don't want to pay, it's that they might not have enough resources in order to pay the bill, and that's the role that we play. We help them uh, get arrangements, uh, affordable payment arrangements, or referrals to other agencies, whether it's Thaw or Salvation Army, or whatever the need is, we'll make that referral for that customer. There's a certain ignorance of the system. There are people just aren't informed as to what is out there, what DTE, what the Red Cross, what a number of agencies can do to facilitate that. Still, electricity is extremely dangerous. You're taking the life of you and your family and your own